name's uh, John Catman. Uh, farm name here is Grace Mar Farms. Uh, I'm on this farm with my two brother-in-laws, Michael and Richard, and my father-in-law still involved, Wally. So in 1999, when I got here, uh, we were started with 135 cows, and since then we've purchased, I'm gonna guess, probably 15 herds. And right now we're milking uh, currently 750 right here, and 160 in our second farm in Armstrong, BC. So when Wally's father and his brothers with that, John Tenbrink purchased the farm. He purchased it from a fellow that actually named it after his wife and mother. Um, one was Grace, one was Margaret. So Grace Mar actually doesn't come from anything on the Tenbrink side, it was just the name of the farm. So they purchased it, they just decided to leave the name and make it a limited company, and uh, hence the name stuck. The current size of the farming, uh, cropping farm that we use right now is uh, about 300 acres and we rent another 500 and I would say it's about 50-50 corn silage, grass silage. On this farm, like I was said before, uh, we have 750 milking cows, 110 dry cows and another 750 young stock. The owners of Pacific Dairy approached us saying that there was an idea out there or a technology out there that you potentially could have robots on a rotary and that was always kind of our goal if we were to get larger that if it was going to be a, a, a robot farm it would have to be like on a rotary and uh, this technology was in Germany the first one or two farms were being built one was actually running when they told us and then uh, so after the presentation we talked about it and we thought if this is the way that we're going to move towards managing this farm that we would at least to make sure we take a look at it. So last March we went out there and they showed us a couple of the dairies. And I'm very impressed with how it was working and as, as ongoing, the software updates and the machine updates, the robot updates, and it was just looked like a, a worthwhile venture to go into, speed up milking, um, consistency, uh, better cow milking, prepping the cow all in one unit, real fast attach time, so that's probably a way that we should look towards. The old system that we're milking before we went to the dairy per queue uh, was a double 16 herring bone parlor with automatic arm takeoffs. It took us about five and a half to six hours to milk uh, 750 cows. Uh, no prep, just tea tip on the end, and we always did it with one man milking. So, moving forward, it was a, a goal of ours to keep the one man milking, but that's because we were used to doing that. So that was something, a big push point that we had when we had to go look at this parlor that it had to be a one man milking. Some of the challenges that we had before we were decided to go with the dairy pig is our length of milking was five to six hours. So the in-between time of uh, different management things that we did on the farm, we're, we're stuck in between uh, a couple hour windows here and there. Um, with the, the dairy pig that we had the potential of having three to four hours in between for managing like the heifers, the dry cows and more, more things to do. Uh, that can be done without having to be in the way of the cows, just the way our farm is set up, cow traffic wise and stuff. And employee wise, I never, I never, we never added employees here after we put the dairy pig in, just created new jobs for people <laughs> that are already here. Yeah. Top three features I would say would be uh, the amount of info that I can get out of each unit on each cow, whether needed or not. It's always interesting to see what they can pull out as a milking unit. Um, the speed of attachment is uh, it pressed me right away, and I I could tell as people even come here just to take a take a look at it that it's a top notch, faster way faster way than uh, most robots are. And uh, I also like the all in one prep. So once the unit's on and attached to the cow, it's already doing all the work to get the cow milking. We started Cow Scout a few months before uh, we got the parlor going so we could learn the system and all of that and uh, it, it went in really easily. It's a separate program, it worked really well. We started on our heifers and started breeding them right away and then just got the information on our cows and we put them in and then uh, didn't collect data until the Pro-Q came in and then, and then to learn the cows was really easy because we already knew everything from the heifers so it went in it went really smoothly. Uh, Cow Scout has a nice feature with 
uh, eating time, they call it, and then uh, it'll tell you whether a cow has ate in the last 12 hours or not. So if it hasn't ate for 12 hours, it'll alarm you saying, we got a problem here, and this cow's not eating. And then you can go, you can sort her out, and then uh, bring her to the sick pen and, and take a look at her, and do anything you want, know, give her a drench or whatever you want to do with her. Cow's Scout was very easy to learn. It is, uh, it's a lot like my old system, so it wasn't a lot, a lot of change. So it worked out pretty good. Now actually we have, because it uh, reads in the barn, so it reads every two hours. And our old system only did every milking, so that works. You get a lot more accurate heats, I believe. Uh, I have an app that lo lo logs into Cow Scout as well, and I can kind of get any information I need about a cow, whether it's what group she needs to go to, or uh, I can actually look at her heat as well if I want to recheck it or whatever I want to do with it. I can see when she calved, when she was last bred. I, I can kind of get almost any information off that app per cow, which works, which works very handy, especially when there's a cow you don't know where she goes, why she catch wood, but uh, you can just click it on your phone and you know everything about her. Dairy Brook Key was to help our farm become more efficient because of the speed of milking that the, the our parlor can do right now. It's doubled from what we had in our old parlor. Um, cow attachment, um, it's always consistent, always the same. So I think that's, that'll help it be a more, more efficient way to milk a cow too. So since we started milking uh, Berry Pro Q, we've reduced our uh, milking time by half. I've reduced some labor at my other dairy farm, bringing the milk cows home, and uh, also just created different jobs for the people to do without having to add the labor force to do it. Uh, dairy Pro Q has helped maintain our milk quality. Um, we have had, to this date, we've had less instances of mastitis. Our somatocell count has been uh, less or the same, only, only by a little bit. Um, uh, it's always been revolving around 190,000. Um, and uh, I think our milk quality that goes in the tank is probably, I think it's better because of how the Dara Pro Q senses blood in the milk and conductivity, whereas human eyes probably don't catch that as fast as the sensors do. So I think that side of the quality, we probably put better milk in the tank. The Dara Pro Q will help us remain profitable. Um, our herd management style, I think we've, we've done it. We do a pretty good job here at uh, the way we manage things. I think the consistency of the robots, I think the, the, the speed of milking, and getting cows in and out of the parlor, the ease of milking, the, the quietness of the parlor. Uh, anytime you don't make the cow do anything drastic or any kind of weird, scared movement, it's always better for the cows itself. And then with the robot milking the cow three times a day all the time, it's never an uh, uh, and it can inconsistency. Other uh, farmers should look at this technology if they were if they had in their head that they were going to look at robots. Um, they should look at the size of their herd, um, the potential way they're that they are used to managing their farm. Uh, we went this more, more, a main reason that we like this style of farming and milking cows is our management style revolves around three milkings a day. Cows come in the parlor, when they're done, they're milked, they go back to their groups. Whereas in a box robot style, if they were looking at robots, it's kind of a 24 hour kind of a cycle. Um, size of herd will be a big part of uh, who looks at this kind of a parlor. Um, I mean, my guess is four to 500 plus herd size. And, uh, and keeping it down to one man milking. Um, I would summarize Dairy Pro Q and our role in dairy farming and as we look forward is a consistent, efficient, technology and management of the future.